Lady, Lady. No. Your mother needs it. Your mother needs it. Okay, go. Okay. Give it to your mother. Your mother needs it. Give I'll make curry. Give I'll make curry. And put your sausage also, add some sausage in there. A sausage? A pork? I need this one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Some sugar sausage. Some sugar. I'll add some sugar. I need this one. I'll make curry. 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 I'll make cur
You are like your mother. You like your mother. You are drunk. Stop walking. I'm a drug dealer like your mother. Stop walking. Your mother is my boss. Your mother is the boss in the drug dealing company. Constitution. Walk. Walk away. Your mother is my boss in the drug dealing company. Walk away. So you're accepting that you're a drug dealer, yes? Let me speak. And my mother doesn't even live in this country. So she's lying about my mother. Take the picture. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. You speak. We both have the same relationship with the same God. You speak. But he, uh, when he talks too much, no, 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 talk. When he talks too much, you interrupt and stop him. So the first option that we discussed. No, no. In this first. Yeah, I'll explain again very briefly. Oh, okay. When it comes to Jesus, the Son of God, before this universe is created, his relationship with the Father, either he's dependent on the Father for his own life and existence, or he's independent. So we talked about if he's dependent on the Father for his existence, that would make him not so sufficient. That would make him weak and dependent. That would make him. That would make him not worthy of worship. Okay. So that's one option. The second option is he is independent of the Father. What that means is, even if the Father didn't exist. He can exist, and he would exist yeah. out of his own self. Yeah. So if so he exists, I, I agree with the second. Okay, let's take the second. Uh, here is the problem with the second. Okay, perhaps you can um, tell me whether you, you can unpack that a little bit more. If he exists by his own self independently, yeah. Yeah. what that means is he was not given life or anything about his yeah. existence his and character. Creator, his he himself is fully God. God. Yes. His divinity will have no restrictions, deficiencies, yes. so he will be an... So that's who we worship. Okay, let's, let's take this yeah. to its okay. completion. So Jesus Christ, the Son of God, in that sense, yeah. he would be a fully independent God. How much of God would, would he be? Fully. Half God, one third God, one fully. quarter, one full God. God. Yeah. So now... Fully God, this, fully man. Excuse me. In that option, the second person, Jesus Christ, will be one fully complete God. Take that on board, what it means. Now, if you have one fully whole God, complete God, yeah. and then you talk about the Holy Spirit, you talk about the Father, you are now talking about God number two, three, and so on, because you already have one God. So in this scenario, second option, it's not going to be one God, so it's going to be three independent gods. No, it's not. Is that it's how you understand God. Bible? No, I will explain to you uh, why I say so, then oh, you can right perhaps God. explain. You. When you have a God who is totally independent, that's one God. That's not half a God. So you have one God in that option who is called Jesus Christ, the second member of the Trinity. One God, not less than one, one God. Do you have headaches? Mm. <laughs> well, then right. he's not so, letting you talk. So when we identify one God, okay, second of, uh, one God, if you now ask, is this the one God that is deserving everyone's worship, oh. or there was someone else? Because you will say, this one God is not the complete set of God, or gods, because there seems to be other than this one God. So if you already identify one God, then anything that you add to that, like a father, who is also independently one God, then that's no longer one God. I'm, more, I'm one God. I'm one God. One, Excuse me. I am me. Okay? One human? I'm one human. Thank you. I'm one human. <laughs> I'm one human, mm -hmm. but I'm a mother, yeah. I'm a daughter, and I'm and a I'm sister. A wife. Yep. I'm a wife sister yes. yep. I am one. Mm. Correct. But an aspect of me is the mother in me, yeah. the daughter in me, and the sister in me. I am also, in fact, I've got many other aspects, sure. and I'm not God. Yeah. yeah. But I'm still one body, one How many flesh. person are you? One. One. One, one, one person? Yeah, that's it. So we that's agree there is only one, 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 one so God. So I agree with you. Mm. In Christ what is you? an expression. No, I will explain to you oh, right, one. Why, what I agree with you. You are one human, even though you have so many different roles, mm. modes, yes. you are still one person. Yes, say that again. 
even though you have mm. many roles and mm. modes, yes. like you're a mother, you're mm. a daughter, you're a sister, mm. yeah, you are still one person. Yes. In Christian belief, uh. in Christian Which belief, belief yeah. in the Trinitarian uh. belief, uh. Yeah. God is not one person. Uh. Why? We believe in one God. Do you believe Excuse in one person? Me, yes. God is one person? Yes. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. How many persons? It's like, my dear, How many persons? they are three in one, okay. as one God. So, Teresa. Right, listen. Okay, Teresa. Shalini, listen, Jesus doesn't need you to defend him. Yeah. But he's telling three God, three God. So, just, Teresa. Just a long time. Trinitarian. Oh, you're taking it too personally. Trinitarian Christians believe God is one God, one being, with three persons. Anyone who believes God is one person, they will say it's a heresy. So you can go and you know find out a bit more from that. God to them is not one person because the Father, Trinitarian Christians, God is not one person. God is a one person, the Father, one person, the Son, and one person. So that's three persons in one being. Now, the example that you gave. It's not analogous, the reason being, you are still one person. But in Christian Trinity, the Son, who is one God, is not the Father. They're yes. distinct. Yes. Right, well, listen to this. Are you a son of God? Or do you believe you're a child of God? We don't believe in that way, no. The creation of God. Slave, you're a creation. Slave and Are you a creation? Are you a creation? Are you a creation? Yeah. Are you a creation? Are you a creation? Okay, but you believe in one God. One nation. But it's created all of us by like one nation right yeah. it's dependent on okay so where are you going with this okay. because it's explain. created billions yeah. billions I'll, 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 of souls I'll explain, that are like i will explain to you in, in, in a image. way that we can connect like you said you are well, one human i think i am yeah, connecting yeah. it this is what, That's is, what i'm, I'm trying. feeling exactly coming. you are one human i am one human and this gentleman is one human. Yeah. How many eternal being? When you start wearing the pants, you we will count. understand when the Bible. We when we count, count and so I are. am one human. You are one human, and this is one human. Yeah. When we count, we don't say this is one human. Remove your wedding gown, please. We don't count like that. We say that's three humans. Yeah, but we're not God. I'm saying we're down here. No, with, I'm saying this I'm saying when we identify distinct persons, then then we add. We don't multiply. We add. So Jesus being one God and Father being one God. You can't say that's one God, that's one and another additional one, that's two, and the Holy Spirit another additional one, that's three gods. Excuse me, that brother. Is the Muslim, rather, that is the non-Christian criticism ah, ah, of the Trinity, ah, in which it doesn't make coherent sense of our belief. God the Father, is God, God is the a, Son, is a and God the Holy Spirit is one God, we're three not, not in one, co-existent, co-united, equal power, stop, stop, equal stop, stop, stop. everything. That's what faith stop. is all about. Yeah, is but, that, he's never going to reveal all like of that, the whole aspect of himself. But Teresa, yeah. Jesus Christ identified. Since 10 years, you're asking the same question. The true hello, God hello. is. Did you wear you know your. Uh, since 10 years, you know, you're asking the same question. You know when um, Christians say, and they say, I believe in Jesus being God, I believe in the Holy Spirit being God, and they're one God. When you ask Christ that question, when you want to find out what was. The belief like Muhammad and teaching of and Christ and about and God. Like if I were to ask you, you are very illiterate in did, the Bible, did, according to Muhammad. Me, did Christ identify who no, he's learning, he's learning. the one true God is? Hey, but who does Allah pray to? His Father. Who Allah is praying to? Did there he Allah say praying. the one true God is the Father? But he also praise said, God. when you've seen me, praise you've praise seen the Father. Yeah, what does it mean? Why would he say? Because I am in the image I'm doing of the, the works father. Of my father. I am, I am, yeah, I am Believe in the image. Do. I am, I'm not, uh, Jesus is the reflection question. of the yeah, invisible I've been, I've been, God. Go ahead. Humble and polite and respectful of you have been. to listen. Thank you. Give me your God. So, thank you. You I'll buy some what, what was I answering? Because I've just lost my, my, my you're train. Talking about, you're talking about Jesus. Jesus' self-identity. Yeah. You said he identifies, I am the Father one. Yeah, he said, I am the, you've seen me, me and the, yeah, you've seen, seen the, the Father. Father. And I always say, because I had 
an encounter with Christ, okay? So I am a living, breathing testimony of, of what he's done in my life. I say Jesus was the way God wanted to come and reveal himself to mankind. Jesus is, Jesus is the face that he wanted us to be able to somehow in our mind relate to so we can have that personal interaction with, the, with God, yeah? So God literally did limit himself if he could coming into a physical form. He overwhelmed Mary with his own spirit. Jesus really was fully God. I have the spirit of God in me, but not fully like Jesus was. He was made perfect. He wasn't made man like me. He wasn't made of the flesh, the sinful seed that comes through the bloodline from Adam and Eve in every one of us, whether you're Muslim, Christian, atheist, everybody, every man since Adam has a sinful seed in his heart. That's why the world's full of evil. Yeah? Understood, understood. Yeah? So he says, I am, I and the Father are one. Like one me Sorry. now, I and the Father are one. One what? God. Okay, fine. And so we will come to live in your heart so you can have that relationship as I created you to be in the first place. So I don't have the, I've still, he, I still have an ego. Jesus was egoless because he's God and he was created perfect because he didn't have that sinful seed. He had to be born of a virgin. So the blood, the sinful seed in the blood when the, the man and the woman. I understand. He's a, so he was fully God, he was perfect, he was sister, pure. I understand the perspective that you're explaining. Pure. Sister, in their Bible, in their Quran, sister. When you said, I am the Father one and you meant one God, now this is something that I want to share with you from the Bible. Jesus Christ actually contextually explain what he meant by that statement. Often Christians don't read the context. Um, you read it? They want to just simply say, oh, it means one God. In the same book of John that this statement is made, Jesus said, just like I and the Father are one. Mm. You, my disciples, mm. will also be one with us. Yes, when we accept Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes. So think about it. Sorry, he, sorry, he, there's he, a bit of noise. He, Say that again. He said, he said, just as I and the Father are one, whatever that oneness means, this filthy Muslims, they only all the disciples, like all the believers, be will also be one with us. Yeah. Don't be like that if the first one. oneness have some means education, oneness have some in manners. divinity, don't being like God, like as you understood, yeah. 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 then his contextual understanding is all the believers when well, part of this oneness, yeah, they'll be all one God. In the soul. They'll yeah. all be God. But of course, this understanding will be discarded by monotheists like yourself. You'd say, no, we would not be one with God, and we would not be God apart from God. I'd say I'd be one with God. But that not My make spirit you God. will go back in the spirit of God, his spirit back yeah. in mine, we become one. But it's not going to make you God, right? No. Because you're a monotheist, yeah. you're a believer in God. So we have to discard this understanding. It would make this a son of God, because this one son one God, one spirit. Let's, let's talk about this oneness first. This oneness cannot mean it somehow makes you divine. Because... No, God... Well, yeah, because God's divine. But it's my spirit and his spirit are one. No, you're not so going to make would, you divine. When, when my spirit goes back when to the word of God becomes flesh body, is not divine. divine. Is. There's no more flesh. There's no more human. No, no, no. There's your just spirit, the spirit, the same spirit that, of God. Let's talk about something. Sister, that had the breath God, of God put inside God of it. God has certain attributes of his being. Like he is unknowledgeable. Yeah, two minutes. No. Unknowledgeable? Sorry, say that. God is unknowledgeable. Yeah. Yes. You, in your spirit. Human form. No, no in, in your my spirit, human form. In your spirit. I don't know. No, in I'm your not in spirit. No, no. You are not only a body. You have a soul. Okay. Yeah. You have a spirit. Yeah. Yeah. spirit your spirit and soul uh. is not unknowledgeable. Uh. So there's a clear distinction. My body and soul isn't. My spirit is created in the image of God. Yeah. Is your spirit unknowledgeable? Of I, don't, I don't know because I'm okay. not. I'm not I'm, you I don't clearly know. know it's not unknowledgeable because otherwise you'd have known. Yeah, because I'm, I'm speaking from a soul okay. and a flesh okay. perspective. Tell me. I don't know what tell the spirit me the person is. I know it's eternal. Tell me the person behind you. Is he, is he wearing a cap? 
have no idea. Exactly. Yeah, because I'm in my human form. No, I'm, 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 I'm a human. If you have I don't a have spirit, eyes in the back no, of my head. If you have, a, has eyes if you have a spirit which is unknowledgeable, yeah, but the, the spirit, spirit is Acha. in heaven with in God. Their Quran, in their Quran, Jesus is sinless. In their Quran, Jesus made a clay of bird and gave life to that bird. In their Quran, Jesus is the word of Allah. This is a distinction that we make. people, they don't know even the word of Allah, what it means. They want to explain and we are not Bible. like God. God is unlike anything. There's no likeness unto God. So God's attributes of all knowingness is not shared by any of the creation. Yeah, it is by his son. So your spirit, I am one with. your spirit, whether it's in heaven or elsewhere, it is not all knowledgeable. Right. Well, I don't know that, and you don't know that. No, no, You're not I'm God. saying, I'm saying. We don't they cannot, know. Okay, let me make it in a different way. There cannot be more than no, one. No, we don't. You don't have to make it in a different way. We, no, no, we, we I, don't know that. I, I don't will, know I will, whether will, my spirit. All I know is okay. it was created in the image I will, of God. I will reason with you yeah. in this way yeah. that there cannot be more than one absolute unknowledgeable. There cannot yeah, be more than one absolute. But if you're one, me. let's say that say that all, that one thing we're all part of is, is splintered off into billions of different things when it all comes back together it's the creation it's the it's the one god it's the creation and everything's back okay. as oneness Let so me, i don't know okay. is creation a split it's like a piece of cake you cut it into eight pieces can that I, piece might can you clarify it, it one thing isn't is your is your and our spirit a creation of god My soul, I believe, is my spirit. Yeah, think about it. Because if it's not a creation of God, then you're saying you have something there eternally existing, alongside yeah. with God. Yeah. So that's multiple gods. Yeah. Oh, I don't think alongside him. I think in him. I think it's. So I do that's think the it's belief in him. of pantheists. Right. Or well, I don't know any of that. I yeah. only know. So there what... are some people who believe everything is part of God. I don't, I don't, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Christians don't believe in that. Muslims don't believe yeah, in that, yeah. okay? So you may not have heard of this term, but everything is part of God. It's not a Christian or Muslim belief. Right. It's a heretical belief system that we... we well, I believe point. everything goes back to God, and that is yeah. written. Oh, Christ, going everything was created back to God through doesn't Christ, mean it and it's going back with to him. It says it was created through him. No, what, what we believe, you? you and I believe, when it goes back to God doesn't mean it merges with God. No, it returns to him, but it doesn't merge with him. Right, okay, There's always okay. a clear distinction. But what what do these words that are written in the Bible, that all things were created through Christ? I can explain to you very simply. We believe that God has attributes of speech. Through the speech of God, God created the world, God created Adam, God yeah. created Jesus. God only needed to say, kun, be, and it was. Yes. In the Christian tradition, God's speech has been transformed into Jesus. And that's why they say, oh, Jesus made this. But actually, it's the speech of God that is creating God. So when the, when the world was created by God, yeah. when God spoke, let there be light, for example, there was light, that's God's speech yeah. bringing this light into existence. So we don't say, oh, this is Jesus creating. It's the speech of God creating. But in Christianity, for some reason, they're personified the attribute of speech yeah, because, into a human being. That's like earlier on we said, that's we what should he not told, do that. That's what he told Mo Mo Moses. Moses wrote that. Moses had a personal relationship with God. That's the inspired word of God that Moses wrote. No, Moses based didn't on believe his, God has God, children. Based on his like relationship have you, with God. Have you found any Jewish people ever oh. believing that God has a son? I have no idea, I've not spoken to any Jewish It's worth people, speaking, so. because before Christianity was on the scene, Jewish people received revelation from God. They had scriptures through their prophets and messengers. I, I really don't mean, we've been here quite a long time. You've been very respectful, so and, I, and I really appreciate so, it. I won't but shake I do, hands, all right, but I, do but I, I really respect go. your yeah, you know, conversation that you're having. Yeah, I, would, I would highly recommend you to read the Quran and I look at... I, I don't any other book no, the Bible, reason I'm the saying Bible is, set me free. No, the reason, and I, I've been free for Teresa, four years. I, Teresa, I don't need any other book. There's a reason I'm saying this. And why the Bible set me free is because it truly is spirit sure, and life. Sure, 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 no problem. But what I'm saying is, there is a reason why I'm asking and requesting it kindly. Yeah, because okay. the Quran talks about Christ. I mean, I do need to know a bit more about the Quran your religion. Speaks about do, Christ. So I agree with the Quran that. speaks about I, Mary. Because I don't want to be the Quran speaks about them. Yeah. And the Quran speaks about to Israel, you, the Jesus. people of the book. And Christians to be the people of Scripture. And the Quran directly speaks with them. 
So it's worth finding out what the message of God is to you. I know, I know. I, know. Yeah, that's I, what I'm I, saying. I, might, I might need to know a little bit more theology wise. Yeah. And actually, God is yeah. telling me to go and do a degree in theology. Yeah. I think why he's not? actually going to have me as a preacher one day. Yeah, no, why not? But why would he do that? Do you know, two years ago, when I met Christ four years ago and I had a spiritual encounter, and only God can change you from the inside out. Absolutely. Four it's years, God that changes you. I've given up my life, my home, my life. I literally did what it says in the Bible, get a bag and go to the, all the world and preach the gospel. And I met God in the flesh in Christ, but in spirit, I, met, I had an encounter. Yeah. The love of God came into my heart and I realized what I'd been seeking all my life was Jesus Christ. It transformed you, I just, didn't it? I just didn't have a name Did for it. Did it not transform it? Yeah. It transformed And I always you. say, love has a name, and it's Jesus Christ. It, I, had, I had a vision of the very heart of God I nailed really to the cross. I really appreciate what you're saying, because this is the transformatory power of God. But so does your religion... To, to give you an example from my experience, Allah, to my experience... Yes, yeah, please do. I gave up working on a Sunday when I could have made lots of money yeah. in the work that I, I did. I gave up working six yeah, yeah. days a week. For two decades. <laughs> right, okay. I don't work. I don't work on Sundays at all. Because God has transformed our lives to convey the message, beautiful message of God message of Islam, the submission to God. Do they to share with the people. So you you believe there's um, a Sabbath like we, we do. We, we don't what? believe God needs resting and he rested we believe god created as god says in the quran he created why the did he and the rest earth. if he doesn't need resting do you think that's what i'm saying we believe god created the heavens and the earth in six days and he did not need to have any rest neither sleep or slumber do you not believe tiredness. the ten commandments then? i'm explaining and then i explain Sorry, to you ten commandments sleep slumber tiredness doesn't touch him yeah. No fatigue and it doesn't does touch him. Say that yeah. somewhere else. In the Old Testament, for unfortunately, I mean something happened along this line of transmission. It is said that God he created, then he took rest and he got refreshed. Refreshment is only necessary when you need to revive your tiredness. So the language that is used there is not really something. Something I would, I would, I would really ask you to. But one of the commandments one, one, is to have a day of one, rest, one, to dedicate one, to God. One, one, one point I want to highlight is this: there are many so things. Not for him. There are many things that has gone within the transmission of this beautiful message of Islam of God to all the prophets. It, along the way, it got corrupted by various people. One of these corruption is this that we find. Do you know why there is a rainbow in the sky, according to yeah, the Bible? Yeah, it's, it's God's promise to his people, a covenant Who is the peace. rainbow reminding? Who is the... Who is the rainbow? The rainbow is mankind. to remind someone. Mankind. Right. What if, if you find, it's not to remind mankind? Yeah, of his covenant. No, what if... And his creator of Teresa, What if, if you find, the rainbow is to remind God of his covenant? you be saying, does God need reminding? Does he forget? That's exactly what the Bible says. The reason he put a rainbow there, he says, look, whenever I am angry and about to destroy mankind again, and I look at the clouds and I see the and rainbow. I promise that I'll never, I'll never no, no, flood this the is what it says. Again. When I see the rainbow, it will remind me. We say yeah, this is not okay. appropriate oh, for God. Sorry. It's not appropriate for God. It is not. Oh. It is the not, word of God is a reminder for God it is not because befitting. it tells us the word. When we give the word, He spoke. He spoke everything into existence by His word. And when we pray, we pray His word. We pray the Bible, and it says His word will never return null and void. Okay. Is it befitting? Prayer. Prayer is a reminder of everything He's promised us in the Bible, and it's a beautiful. So we, we don't just need reminder. Teresa, we don't disagree. We human beings need to be reminded because we are weak, yeah. because we forget. God doesn't need reminding. Right. He's unknowledgeable. So, so when, to somebody, when the Bible God shows, but God invites us to remind him of his no, word. When the God God is praying to someone when the in the Bible, not need it, but he no, invites when, us to remind Teresa, him. Teresa, when she the Bible shows one, God needs you need to seriously ask, why is the book telling me that? Is this book 
Right. Yes. Allah look, was doing salah. I'm going to have to go. Allah was doing salah. <laughs> Take care. And it's really, 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 really. Um, Allah was doing salah to whom? Excuse me. No, no, no. When you feel like Allah is doing salah, I will never have time. I will never take my eyes off the Bible. Okay. The reason why I'm saying is the chapter. The Bible set me free, so I don't need to read another book. No, there are there are that directly engages with you. Just read those parts. I really appreciate. I really appreciate. Away, We've spent a lot of time debating a lot of things, okay? No offense, and I, I really feel the spirit on this right now. Asking the same question. We hope that God guides us closer and closer to the truth. James, 25 years, he's asking the same question. And you didn't answer it yet. That you are his creation. He absolutely loves every last one of you just as much as me. He wants you all to have eternal life. And eternal life is in the one God. That you should only worship who? The one God. You worship who? And he said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the that is what Jesus he said. He was at his time. We agree that he was, he was the light. He was the he's path. right here Everybody now. Please, please, I, I promise you, he's here. I've got the, I can tangibly feel the presence of the Spirit of God. He's speaking to you all. He said, I am the door to <laughs> eternal life. Which is to worship God alone. Relationship with God. Yes. Message of Islam. Yep. Yes. Eternal life. See how beautifully you are talking about the message I of Islam. I am the door. Jesus is the door. Nobody can yeah. come to the Father except God. Hang on. Except when the Prophet Muhammad except... came, Please. the door. Please, you respect God, you tell me. He's listen I'm to agreeing his, with you. Listen to his word. Thank you, Sharon. He's, Thank say, you, Sharon. he's saying, I'm the door. You can't get in except through me. Islam is Believe I am the Messiah. Believe I am who I say I am. Can you ask him if he's a Muslim? Can you ask Jesus if he's a Muslim? He's not anything. He's the son of the Most High God. He's the eternal. Because in this direct presence. He's the eternal. He's not Christian. No, would you ask him? No, could you ask him? In you ask him? In this direct ask him. Are you a Muslim? No. You ask him. No, you have you a ask him. You ask him. You have a mouth, right? You have a mouth. Has it answered? Are you a Muslim? No. I think, I think, yeah, he says, I think yes. you are Sister right. Sister Teresa, I want to tell you, sister, I want to tell you, this you Mansoor, you take he's been asking the same question about Jesus 10 <laughs> years. Is speaking to you? And they, um, they know you are a new person here. Take care. They want to hackle yes. you. No, 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 they no, want no, to hackle no, you. Nobody's hackling. I'm being, this is, this is genuine and authentic. I feel Jesus is saying he's a Muslim. He is a Jew. No, he a is a Jew. Is a Jesus was a, Jew. Jew. a Jew. Jew. Jesus was a Jew. Jesus. Not a Muslim. Jew is a the degrading the dignity of my God by saying I'm a Muslim. I, say, okay. I am. You've all got a choice because I created you with free choice. But I created you to live in a beautiful relationship with me. Okay, my, my final I am message crying to, you as well. to every last one of you. I love you. Okay, we got your message. You cannot come back to eternal oh, life. We got your message. With, with, we with got your God message. We got me. your message. It's not my message. No, no. It's his message. His message. Really? Message is clear. Mm. The message that I want to share with I'm you is. I'm sorry, I have to go. No, no. I really have in, to go because if I don't go to the loop, I am going to embarrass go. myself. Go. But <laughs> the message you. of Islam is. Something.